Today, we are unboxing the most popular wax jacket. If you go on Google right now and type in wax jacket, you're gonna find Huckberry's Flint and Tinder Flannel Line Wax Trucker Jacket, which is this right here. This jacket has also been made very popular by the most recent HBO TV hit show, Last of Us. The main character wears this jacket. So we're gonna be unboxing and see what this jacket is really all about. If it's all hype or if it's really that good. And at the end, if you guys do decide to purchase this jacket, be sure to use the link down below. It would help me out a ton. I would really appreciate it. My name is Michael Shu. If you guys aren't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it as well. If you guys went down and smash the subscribe button, hit the big thumbs up. As this year, my goal is trying to reach 10,000 subscribers. I would really appreciate it. So go do it now. Let's dive right into this unboxing. First off, let's talk about the box. Not much of a box. It's a package that has their brand Huckberry. The back, Huckberry, show us your gear. This is the package. You guys ready to dive right in and see what it's about? Let's go. Woo! All right, so it comes like this, neatly folded, packaged like this. You get some other cool stuff. What is this? It's like a postcard, which you could fold. It says, thank you. And it's a nice picture of the woods and people biking. And if you guys don't know Huckberry, their brand is all about adventure, going outside, in the nature, doing cool things. So if you are looking for some outdoor gears, go ahead and check out Huckberry, all right? But let's go on to the main event right here. This is the Flannel Line Wax Trucker Jacket. I got this in forest color. Apparently, the main character in Last of Us wears the field tan color, but this is the forest. Box it. Oh. Ooh. And by the way, just to let you guys know, this is my very first wax jacket ever. So I am very excited to see what this wax jacket is all about. Ooh. This is nice. Very nice and hefty. A lot of people, some people say when they first get their wax jacket, outside feels very waxy. However, this jacket doesn't have any of that. Ooh. Love the buttons here. These are custom buttons made for Flint and Tinder, and that's what it says on top. Go ahead and unbutton it. So if you guys don't know, wax jackets are supposed to be really water resistant. When it rains, water should just roll right off of it. Another thing that this jacket was really appealing to me is that it's made in USA. I love my products being made in America. I know quality and the materials are gonna be good. The outside of this jacket is made from a seven ounce sailcloth wax. And this is a jacket that can also be re-waxed. So if it starts raining and you see your jacket starting to get so, you can re-wax it and re-wax it. So never lose that waxiness. Ooh, you ready to see the inside? This is the flannel line, all right? So as it's February going into March, Spring is coming. This looks like a good jacket for spring. That's not too heavy. It's not something you're gonna wear in the heavy snow, but it's a jacket to keep you warm as you transition from winter into spring. And there's one inside pocket, which I really like. Apparently this is called the media pocket where you can put your phone in. I like the inside pocket where you can put a phone or a wallet in. But I gotta say the quality of the jacket is really nice. Like I said, things made in America hits differently, all right? The outside, the sailcloth, the wax canvas with the custom buttons. Now let's go ahead and put this on. Oh, this size fits good. What do you guys think about this forest color? If you guys don't like this color, don't worry. There are like seven different colors out there. There is bound to be one that you really like. This is a really cool jacket. So if this is not the color you want, there are plenty of other colors out there for you to choose. But also keep in mind that not all colors have your size. This is the most popular wax jacket out there. So some sizes might not be available. But like I said, there are like seven other colors out there, so you can find the size and the color you want. Let's talk about sizing because I'd hate for you guys to get a jacket that doesn't fit you. I am 185 pounds, 5'8", and I got the large. How does it fit? It looks pretty good, fits pretty good. Pop the collar, what do you guys think? 
Usually I go for a brown color or a field tan color, but today I want to try something different. I don't have anything in like a greenish color. So I'm trying out the forest. But so far I gotta say, looks pretty good. Let's talk about pricing. How much does the most popular wax jacket cost? For comparison, there are wax jacket that easily cost above 500, 600, that goes up to $800, maybe even more. But this jacket only comes in at $298, right under that $300 mark. So not that expensive, not that bad at all. If you are looking for a new jacket during the springtime, this is a jacket to go for. I gotta say, just wearing it on right now, it looks pretty stylish and it's a jacket that's gonna keep you warm. I really like this flannel line inside. It does provide some warmth. I like there's, ooh, two side pockets. I do like the two side pockets and there's a pocket up here that I could put stuff in as well. So far, I'm really digging this jacket. Let's go ahead and go outside and see what it looks like on body. You guys ready? Let's go. Hope you guys enjoyed that on body look of Flint and Tender's flannel lined wax trucker jacket. I gotta say this jacket is pretty awesome. From the very short time of me wearing it, I could see why this jacket is very popular. Everyone loves a product that's made in USA, that uses quality materials, that's stylish, and comes at a great price. And this jacket does exactly that. This jacket is not just hype, it's really that awesome. So if you guys are deciding to purchase a jacket, be sure to use the link down below. I would really appreciate it. And like I said, it would really help me out a ton. But that's gonna be it for my unboxing of this jacket. I absolutely love it. I'm definitely gonna be wearing it more and give you guys an update after a few months, see how it's holding up. I hear it's supposed to patina pretty well, so I'll definitely document that and see the progress of the patina, all right? But that's gonna be it, hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, hitting 10K. Let's do this together. But that's gonna be it. Said that already. Leave a comment. Let me know what color jacket you have if you already have this jacket. Alright? See you guys soon. Bye.